Well, hi again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with another Chessbase 11 tip for you. In our last several videos, we've been looking at material searches in Chessbase 11. We've been looking at generally numerical searches. Right click on the database you want to search, select search, it'll bring up the search mask, click reset, then click material. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You can set the number of pieces you want to search for. You can search for games in which one side has one queen against two rooks, for example, or maybe you want one rook against two rooks. You can set the numbers in this part of the dialogue. But there are additional toggles and tweaks in this dialogue that I'd like to show you a few of them. Today we're going to look at ones that deal with pawns. And that's what you find down here underneath the numerical toggles. You find different kinds of pawn structures listed. Um, you see two sets of these. And the reason why is that if you uncheck ignore colors, where the color matters, you can set different criteria for white here and black here. Whereas with ignore colors checked, which is what I'm going to do today, you just need to worry about one side. Just use one of these. If you click doubled, this will pull up all the games in your database in which one side or the other or both have doubled pawns. So we'll check it, we'll click OK, and we get a pretty quick search going on here. It doesn't take very long. It's going to search about 5 million games and do it in about 30 seconds, give or take. Down here in the lower right corner, you can see a search progress bar, and we're done. Let's grab a hold of the slider. We'll slide down a bit and we'll just start looking at some games. And here we find doubled pawns for black on the F file. Here we find that uh, doubled pawns for black on the F file once again. Double pawns for black on the C file. Double pawns for black on the B file. White has doubled pawns on the F file in this game. Black has doubled pawns and black has double pawns again. Just click on games, you can play through games in which this motif occurs. It's actually very useful to use these toggles in combination with other things in the dialog, but I just want to show you how they work. There's other toggles about pawn structures as well. We can select past, click OK, and we'll very soon have all the games from the database in which one side or the other or both have a passed pawn, or in some cases you'll find multiple passed pawns. Let's have a look here in another couple of seconds. Let's scroll down a random point in the database and start looking. Sure enough, we have passed pawns in this position. C pawn for black. Over here we're looking at a white F pawn that's a passer. Here we have connected passed pawns for white on the G and H files. Same story here. G and H files have connected passed pawns. Connected past pawns on the B and C files for white. Here's past pawns all over the place. Every pawn on the board is a passer in this position. So you can see how to quickly find games in which there are past pawns. Right click, go back to search, and we'll look for connected pawns. That's the third toggle involving pawn structures in, uh, in this dialog. We'll click OK. And very quickly, Chessbase 11 searches the database for all the games in which one side or the other or both will have connected pawns. It's done. We can scroll down and start looking at connected pawns for white. This apparently happens at the end of the game, as we've seen before. If you click and you get the beginning of the game, go to the final position. And this is where you will see connected pawns. White has connected pawns here. Here we have three connected pawns for white, two connected pawns for black, etc. Three and three. So that's how you do that. You can combine these criteria, different pawn structure criteria. However, for example, if you were to check connected and passed, it would not pull up only the games in which one side or the other have connected passed pawns. It just combines the searches. So you get games in which there are connected pawns, and you get all the games in which there are passed pawns. You're just combining the two separate searches. You're not limiting the search to connected passed pawns. So be aware of that. What you have here is three other toggles that you can use in special circumstances. What this means is you want all the games in which there are no doubled pawns. That's what the exclamation mark means right here. If you check that, it means no doubled pawns or 
no past pawns or no connected pawns. By themselves, these are not terribly useful tweaks, toggles, but in combination with other things in this dialog, they can be extremely useful. So if you want to exclude certain common pawn structures, that's what the exclamation mark means. Those boxes will exclude doubled past or connected pawns. So that's how you do searches for common pawn structures in Chess Base 11 through the use of these three boxes, or six if you're going to be exclusional, under the Material tab in the Search Mask. Next time around we'll take another look at some other toggles in the Material tab of the Search Mask in Chess Base 11. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.